Hey everyone, Jack Dejan here. Wonderland, Wonderland, Wonderland. A lot of things has happened. A couple of days. It's been, what, two days? So the Sifu vote has finished and 86% voted to remove Sifu. I personally think is the right way to go. You just cannot have someone who's committed that magnitude of crime, even though it was in the past, to to have hold over the treasury like that. It just it doesn't make sense to me. Now, the team made a post, uh, which I'll read to you now, which is quite interesting and discusses next steps in Wonderland. So the Sifu vote has come to an end. Currently, the vote stands at 86% to remove Sifu. The team feels strongly this is the best choice for the protocol and needs to happen as a first step to move forward with Wonderland. So a uh, vote um, from the team's perspective. Despite this, we would like to already discuss points of action for once the vote has ended. From the team perspective, these are the points of action are relatively clear. A vote needs to be placed whether to wind down Wonderland or not. What does that mean? Winding down meaning giving every W memo holder back the funds from the treasury that they are entitled and to declare the own fork experiment closed. We strongly believe this will be the cleanest way of moving forward. Now, what about the people who have sold rat memo during this period? You can't just, you know, there's people that rode from 10,000 all the way down to what, 2,000 or even 500 and maybe they cut their losses. If they did this, you know, it will be interesting to note when the snapshot of the holders will be. Because I'm sure there's a lot of people who sold or who's got liquidated. Yeah, part, partly to their own greed, but I don't think they should be punished if that's what they're trying to do. So we need to see when they're going to do the snapshot if this was the option. If the community does not want to do this and votes against this proposal, there is an option of handing over the project to the community. This would definitely be a difficult step as it would be difficult to, clear, to clearly identify an identity to give control of the treasury to. Due to this, we think the proposal is voted against and no counterproposal within five days is made by the community with relevant people who are willing to take over multi-sig and willing to take on this challenge. We will still unwind the treasury we don't want anything happen to users fund and we do not feel confident to delegate this whole treasury to a non-structured replacement that's true so if they did it if they make it into community run it will basically be a true dao okay that's what a dao is a dao is a community run a decentralized organization however it does have its dangerous if there's a team of malicious actors come in they could take over the treasury and just run with it so their idea is if the proposal was voted against which means that they don't wind down but they can't find a proper replacement they're still going to wind down the treasury i think it makes sense you know most people are just most investors in this are just so hurt right now they just want their money back right there's people that's that i've seen have thrown their life savings in and quite frankly it's just been absolutely terrible all right so there's more explaining the users how to claim how to wrap there's a snapshot up so this is the one down wonderland and give treasury back to its holders proposal i don't have any time i sold it so th that's that so daniele have this man has not had a good night of sleep a couple nights of sleep i don't think he has made a new post on mirror let's take a look first gear on the way forward i have spoken a lot with various people some people said wonderland should just be wandered down and funds given back its holders Although this is an option, I believe this is the easy way out. I made a mistake, got blinded. See, he should have started with that a couple of days ago, right? He should have started with this. And we wouldn't be in such a shit show if he just started with that, you know? He started off being defensive, which made him an accomplice to Sifu. One in itself has achieved some big things and aspects of an investment DAO. To me, it's incredibly interesting. So there was a team um, of Bastion from Bastion Trading that proposed themselves on the Wonderland Forum that wanted to take take over the whole thing. I'm not sure if that's gone ahead, discussed at this point, I think. They have shown all their information, including their LinkedIn. So it seems legit, but let's see. So right now we're just deciding whether we should shut down Wonderland 
or continue with the new team? Because obviously, Daniele, the whole reputation and the whole uh, Sifu has gotten to a point where it's probably hard to, for him to stay in any capacity because people have lost trust. Trust in a trustless space is something that's, that's everything. You know, uh, for a project, if 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 there's no trust, then no one's going to invest, and the, and there's no investment, then uh, the whole thing comes crashing down. It's really sad to see how Wonderland has become like it just literally unfolded in a couple of days. It's they they've spent a couple of months to build to build this whole thing up, going to all these straight lengths to get this off the ground, and now it just comes crashing down in a matter of days. So yeah, this is a situation with Wonderland. What do you think? Tell me in the comments and please like and subscribe. I'll be posting updates on the situation as long as with my other investments that I'll be doing as well. Thank you very much.